head to make it say skated. You're so smart. Having an instructional specialist has been phenomenal this year. Our instructional specialist, Carrie, has made such an impact on our kids and our teachers. Working one-on-one -on -one with reading recovery students has made significant growth for these kids, and she's been able to be a great coach and support for so many of our teachers this year. Having a teacher in these kinds of roles, um, and they're teachers that are teacher leaders, um, I think is really important. You, you're working with the most at-risk kids, and you've got to have skilled teachers in there working with them. And I'll do it myself. You saw it's like the character there, didn't you? The very first part of a reading recovery lesson is, is a familiar read. Children are reading books that they've read before, and it's just to get them the jump start, get their, get their, get their brain moving in the way that, 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 that uh, get them ready for, for, for learning and reading. It's like, a, it's a warm up. It's like stretching for, you know, if, you, if you're working out. The next component is a running record and that's from the new book the previous day. So we do a quick running record just to see how the student is solving words, how they're sounding when they read, are they phrased, are they fluent, are they able to take words apart, are they making analogies with words they already know. What part's the same in all three of those words? And then you do the word work and letter work, where you're breaking words apart or you're focusing on endings. So when you see these together, what are you going to say? And then you come back and you sit back down and you do a writing piece. Um, they come up with the story and you create this, this, the sentence and then you do a cut up sentence where you're breaking the sentence apart and they have to kind of manipulate the sentence back together. The final component is the introduction of a new book. And that's the book that on the next day I'll take the running record of. And so we talk about that we do a we do a picture walk, and then the child does their first reading of it, and we and, and I and I coach the child through that through that, and then um, and then and then it's done. It's all done within 30 minutes. What's the same on those? It's the E N T. Same kind of idea with a small group. It's a little less structure. I try to incorporate some of the reading recovery techniques, um, like when they were reading, you'll notice I have them do a practice page and we do like a little warm up on the whiteboard um, just to kind of refresh their memory. But we do a book, we'll do a word work, and then some writing. So it has kind of those components, but it's not as structured. For sure, daily work is all, you know, when you're observing students on a day-to-day -day basis, it's very telling. Right, yeah. yeah, that transfer piece for sure. I think it is so important to have somebody who can support teachers in literacy, in math. They have questions, they're, um, they're continuing to refine their practice and just having someone they can collaborate with, bounce ideas off. The pandemic, you know, it had its wear and tear on, on our educators and rattled their confidence or, or just their, um, yeah, their confidence that they were teaching the right things and that the kids were really growing the way they needed to grow. So I feel that Carolyn is able to kind of help remind them of all the amazing teaching practices that they already have in place and maybe then offer an, a thing or two that they could try to do differently. I'm working with kids one-on-one -on -one and I'm making a difference for sure. Um, but to make a difference and to work with, with, with teachers who then can then impact an entire classroom and it, and it spreads, that's where we're gonna, that's where we're gonna see the, the benefit of this, I, I think. That, that is, in my mind, the coaching aspect is going to be where we're going to see we have the biggest opportunity for change. So what's this one? Well. And what would this be? Mill. Mill. It is an investment in instruction and we know that that's going to help our students across the board because if they're getting just right instruction and the interventions that they need, it is going to help close that gap. It's amazing what you can do with them. I had one little reader at the beginning of the year, she did not want to come with me and she was really nervous and by the end she was just thrilled and she had made so much gain. The love of reading and the teacher, now the teacher is telling me, you know, I mean just from working with me, she just has seen like confidence and um, you know, the love, the love for, for reading. I think Wald Lake is moving in the right direction with this. This is, this is going to move us, you know, we aren't stagnant. We're moving and it will help us be the educational leader that we want to be.